Thanks, Green. Uh, you said that President Biden was familiar with what his son was going to say on Capitol Hill. If I called my dad and said, I am about to violate a congressional subpoena, he'd probably say, son, you shouldn't do that. Was there any attempt by President Biden to talk Hunter out of it today? You're going to call your dad Steve? Call him dad, usually. <laughs> <laughs> Look, um, I don't have anything else to add. The president was familiar with what um, Hunter was going to say today. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, look, he's proud of his son. He and the First Lady are proud of his son, how he's rebuilding his life back. He's going to focus on what is needed on the American people. Hunter, and I've said this many times, is a private citizen. And so certainly I would have to refer you to um, uh, to his representatives. I'm just not going to get into private conversations because what you're asking me is actually a private conversation. I'm just not going to get into it. Right. First briefing since Hunter was indicted again in Los Angeles. Why doesn't President Biden just pardon him? The President, I've been very clear. The President's not going to pardon and him. And one more about these, uh, this Ukraine money for border policy uh, negotiations. In the last 24 hours, 10,000 illegal border crossings, southwest border. Would you admit that the border policy, the Biden border policy so far, has not worked? What I will say is that we have known for decades, for decades, that the immigration policy is, the immigration system is broken. We've said that over and over again. That has been Republican administration and Democrat administration. That is not unheard of. That is what we have seen for the past couple of decades. The pre wait, the president has put forth an immig immigration, a comprehensive immigration policy legislation uh, on his first day to deal with this issue. Republicans refuse. They refuse to deal with this issue. It's been almost three years <coughs> since he put forth that, that legislation. So we're going to do what we can do from here. But we have said this is something that needs to be dealt with in a bipartisan way, in a bipartisan way. About a thousand of these illegal border crossers every day are getting away to parts unknown in the U.S. Does the president think that is a national security risk? Here's what I'll say. Uh, you, one of the ways that we also have to look at this is what congressional Republicans have refused to do. They have. They refuse to support previous requests from the president. What they've asked to do actually hurts the issue, hurts the problem that we're seeing at the border.